Hello! Como é que está indo o seu curso de inglês? Já está sentindo que está melhorando, está se adiantando? Nós já estamos chegando quase na lição 18. Está bom para você? A lição 18 tem uma opção de coisas interessantes, fala sobre comprar presentes. Quem é que não gosta de dar presente, né? Então, vamos ver. Lesson 18. Lesson 18. É uma lição fácil, gostosa, você vai curtir, tenho certeza. Então, vamos ver o primeiro trecho do Follow Me. Vamos lá? O que você acha desse código? I don't like it much. Why? Because it's expensive and it isn't long enough. I prefer the red coat over there. Hmm. Not bad. But I don't like coats which have belts. Hello. This is a present for Jane, my secretary. She likes presents. I like you, Francis. Why? Why do you like me? Because you give me presents. Oh, yes. Here you are. It's a present for you. Oh, Francis. How nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Why do people like things? Let's see. English people like animals. Some people like dogs because they're friendly. Some people prefer cats because they're quiet. Some people like parrots because they talk. Hello. Why do you like dogs? Why do you like dogs? Because they're friendly. Because they're friendly. I don't like dogs. I prefer cats. Why do you prefer cats? Because they're quiet. They don't make much noise. Why do you like parrots? Because they talk. That parrot doesn't talk. Yes, I do. Olha só, você viu o papagaio empalhado? Acho que foi difícil para eles achar um, um de verdade lá, né? Um... Louro José para botar no programa, bem vivinho, bem falante, seria bom, né? Vamos ver que frases a gente aprendeu aqui. Why do you like? Why do you like? Por que você gosta? Why? Why? Por quê? É uma palavra de pergunta. Why do you like animals? Why do you like dogs? Why do you like dogs? Por que você gosta de cachorro? Why do you like dogs? Repeat, please. Why do you like dogs? Again, why do you like dogs? Good. I prefer cats. I prefer cats. Eu prefiro os gatos. I prefer cats. I prefer cats. Repeat, please. Come on. I prefer cats. Good. Tá bom, né? Tá indo bem. Então, why do you like me? Aqui é aquela pergunta crucial. Why do you like me? Por que você gosta de mim? Ah, why do you like me? Why do you like me? Why do you like me? Repeat. Why do you like me? I like you because you're kind. Eu gosto de você porque você é gentil. Vamos continuando? Why do you like me? Because, olha essa resposta. Because you give me, o que será? Presents. Porque você me dá presentes. Because you give me presents. Repeat. Because you give me presents. Por isso que eu gosto tanto de você, porque você me enche de presentes. Because you give me presents. Repeat. Because you give me presents. Good. Continuando. Why do people like things? Why do people like 
things. Kick some things. Things são coisas. Things. Olha a pronúncia. Veja bem. Things. Põe a língua sobre os dentes de cima, na frente, assopra um pouquinho. Things. O G sobe o som, é nasalau. Things. Repita. Things. Why do you like things? Why do you like things? Very good. Nós já podemos ir passando para o próximo trecho do Follow Me. Vamos lá? What's it like here? Oh, it's not bad, but it's very noisy. Why? It's him. He always makes a noise at night. What's the food like? Oh, it's very good. I don't like these new shoes. Why? Because they're not big enough. Are they the wrong size? No. It says 38, and that's size 5. It's my size, but they're too small. Look. Take them back to the shop. We like Madrid, but we went there last year. I prefer a small town or a village. A, a quiet village, which is near the sea. A quiet village near the sea. Look. What do you think of this? It's four kilometers from the sea. Well, that looks nice. And there's a good hotel, which is very quiet. I like Denmark. But we went there last year. I prefer Greece. Should we go to a small village in the south? Look, what about this? Very nice. And it looks quiet. But it's six kilometers from the sea. I like to be near a beach. Então vamos ver o que que a gente aprendeu nesse trecho. Uma das frases é he's very noisy. He's very noisy, quer dizer, ele é muito barulhento. Eu vou anotar no quadro. He's very noisy. He is very noisy. Noise sozinho quer dizer barulho. Noise. Nós, barulho. Nós e barulhento. Ele é muito barulhento. He's very noisy. Repeat. He's very noisy. Good. Continuando. He's very noisy. My shoes... Esta frase também estava no nosso vídeo. My shoes aren't big enough. Olha a pronúncia de enough. A pronúncia termina em F, F de faca. Enough. Repeat. Enough. Good. My shoes aren't big enough. Repeat. Come on. My shoes aren't big enough. Quer dizer, meus sapatos não são grandes o suficiente. Enough quer dizer suficiente. Tá? Os sapatos são pequenos. My shoes aren't big enough. Take them back to the shop. Outra falinha. Take them back to the shop. Take them back to the shop. Aqui é um K, viu? Ah, ou letra ruim. Take them back to the shop. Ok? Vamos repetir. Take them back to the shop. Come on. Take them back to the shop. Leve-os de volta para a loja. To take é levar, é pegar, é tomar. Take back é levar de volta. Leve de volta para a loja. Vamos continuando porque nós temos mais um trechinho do Follow Me para você. Vamos lá?
Can we have a double room, please? Certainly. With a bath or a shower? We prefer a room which has a shower. And I like one which isn't too noisy. This room is very quiet, madam. This one. Let's buy this lamp. No, it's too big. This one's better. No, oh, no, not that one, please. Why not? My mother won't like it. But it's not for your mother, it's for us. And I like it. What about this one? like it at all. I don't like the colour. I prefer that one. What do you think of it? Oh, no. Why don't you like that one? Because it's too big and too expensive. We can't buy a lamp which costs 55 pounds. Can I help you? <sighs> yes. Would you show us a lamp? One which is not too big and which isn't expensive and which looks nice. This one looks nice. Here's a lamp which looks nice. Here's a lamp which looks nice. And here's one which isn't expensive. Here's one which isn't expensive. Então vamos ver essas frases. Can we have a double room, por exemplo? Can we have a double room? Já anotei para você, viu? Olha aqui. Can we have a double room, please? <coughs> What is a double room? A double room é um quarto com Duplo, um quarto duplo. Can we have a double room, please? Can we have a double room, please? Repeat. Can we have a double room, please? Good. Em seguida, this one is too big. This one is better. This one is too big. Too big. Grande demais. Este é grande demais. This one is too big. Repeat. Come on. This one is too big. This one is better. This one is better. Repeat. Come on. This one is better. Este é melhor. Better é mais do que good. Good é bom. Better, melhor. All right? My mother won't like it. Esse won't. É will not. Will not. A contração de will not é won't. My mother won't like it. My mother won't like it. Repeat. My mother won't like it. Minha mãe não vai gostar. E a, em seguida... I prefer that one. I prefer that one. Eu prefiro aquele. E para terminar, here's a lamp which looks nice. Aqui está uma lâmpada, um abajur, que to look nice, que tem uma cara boa, que é bonito. Here's a lamp which looks nice. Repeat. Here's a lamp which looks nice. Muito bom. Aos pouquinhos, a gente vai falando mais e mais. E follow me, tá no papo. Vamos lá? I like it here. I don't. Why did we come to Brighton? Because you like holidays at the seaside. But I don't like this hotel. Why not? We've got a room which is near the sea. 
I don't like the room because it's noisy. It isn't noisy. It's very quiet. No, it isn't. Listen. You can hear the sea. Ah, that's better. No, it isn't. What's the matter now? Listen. That's music. And you like music. But I don't like music in hotel bedrooms. It's all right. You can turn it off. Look. Good. Turn the radio off, darling. Why? It's late. It's quarter past twelve. All right. Would you turn the light on? Oh, God. Coloquei algumas frases no quadro para ficar mais rápido para a gente repetir mais, tá bom? Veja só. I've got a room which is near the sea. I've got a room which is near the sea. I've got a room which is near the sea. Repeat. I've got a room which is near the sea. Tem um quarto que é perto do mar. It's all right. Tudo bem. It's all right. Quando uma pessoa está sofrendo, ou caiu, machucou, a criança que caiu, a gente diz, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. You can turn it off. Você pode desligar. To turn off é desligar alguma coisa. You can turn it off. It's all right. Repeat. It's all right. You can turn it off. You can turn it off. Mais umazinha. Would you turn the light on? To turn on é o oposto de to turn off. Turn on é acender. Please repeat. Would you turn the light on? Would you turn the light on? Muito bom. Podemos continuar com o nosso follow me? Então vamos lá. This is a market. It's in London. The market is in Bermondsey Street, in South London. It's an antique market. People come here to buy and sell old things. Plastic handbags you get. Look at all the things you can buy. On that stall, you can buy silverware, like knives and forks and plates. They're all made of silver. People look at the stall for a long time. They don't hurry because they're looking for something good which is not too expensive. And there are lots of things to see. Here's an old picture of the king and queen. And what about this? An antique coal bucket which is made of brass. There's a market here every week. It starts very early in the morning. You have to be here at seven o'clock to find the best things. Oh, 
there's something for everyone at the Bermondsey Antique Market. What about this for your friends? A big brown bear. Olha lá que legal, esse é um mercado, a market, o um mercado em Londres você tem o Portobello Market, né? na França você tem em Paris, você tem o mercado das pulgas, the flea market, são lugares onde você encontra antiguidades e encontra gente interessante também, porque são pessoas que curtem muito a arte, são pessoas que gostam de coisas bonitas, é muito interessante, se você for para lá, não perca uma visita a um mercado de antiguidades. Vamos continuando com o nosso follow me. May we have another lamp? Yes, of course, madam. But why? Because this one doesn't work. Would you please give us one which works? Certainly, sir. Just one moment, please. Here you are. That's not the same. It's smaller than this one. You're right. It isn't the same. It's different. It's a different size. This one's a different color. Same size, different color. <laughs> May we have one which is the same size and the same color? This is the right one. These lamps are the same. These lamps are the same. These lamps are different. These lamps are different. Here you are. This one will work. Olha só, mais algumas frases para você repetir depois de mim. May we have another lamp? May we have another lamp? Repeat. May we have another lamp? Come on. May we have another lamp? Podemos ter, podemos pegar ou ver um outro abajur. Outra frase. That's not the same. It's smaller. Isso não é igual, é menor. That's not the same. It's smaller. Repeat, that's not the same, it's smaller. That's not the same, it's smaller. Smaller, menor. Small, pequeno. Smaller, menor. Ok? Mais uma. It's a different size. It's a different size. É um tamanho diferente. Repeat, it's a different size. Come on. It's a different size. Very good. May we have one the same size? May we have one the same size? Repeat. May, may we have one the same size? Podemos ver um do mesmo tamanho. Same size. O mesmo tamanho. Thank you so much. Vamos vendo a próxima parte do Follow Me. What's the matter? Why aren't you drinking your coffee? Because it isn't coffee. It looks like coffee. But it's tea. And I prefer coffee. I'll get you some coffee then. No. I'm going. Why, dear? It's nice here. No, it isn't. Listen. Music! Turn it on. It works. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't like it. What shall we do? Let's give it to your mother. In this program, we learned... 
Why do you like dogs? Because they're friendly. Here's a lamp which looks nice. Here's one which isn't expensive. These lamps are the same. These lamps are different. Ah, I like this. I think I like Brighton. I like my present, Francis. And I like this music, too. Goodbye. Gostei de ver a prainha deles lá. Tá bom demais, né? <risos> Brighton. Férias em Brighton. Só para os bons. Nós estamos terminando, então, a nossa 18ª aula de Follow Me. Me encontro com você no próximo programa, a sua aulinha de inglês pela televisão. Thank you so much. Goodbye.